And for perspective on these cancer drug reports, we are joined by our medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. John, good evening. Good evening, Russ. Why are we hearing these success stories now, especially in cases like melanoma? Well, these are great examples of what's called personalized medicine. 30 years ago, when we were treating cancer, we would throw the kitchen sink at it, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. It was like hitting somebody over the head with a two by four and hoping that you kill the cancer before you hurt or killed the patient. Now we've gotten smarter over the last 10 years. We're looking at the inner workings of the cell. What makes this cancer cell tick? What are its weaknesses? What are its Achilles heels? And going after those. This melanoma drug is a perfect example. There's a specific mutation, an abnormal protein that's present in about 50% of people. In those people, this drug works. In other people, it doesn't work. Perfect example of personalized medicine. Well, there is also good news coming from breast cancer trials, from lung cancer trials. Is that because researchers now understand better how this, these cells work? Absolutely. And again, it's a whole new way of looking at cancer. We used to just say, okay, you got lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer. Now we're looking at the pathways inside the cancer cell. And it turns out that a lot of those pathways are shared by different types of cancers. The beauty for people who have things like esophageal cancer, bladder cancer, that are not very well-funded cancers, is that all of the research that's being used and gleaned from other cancers that are better funded can be applied to these less funded cancers. Mm. So it's a real win-win for everybody. Very good news. Dr. Jan LaPook, as always, thank you very much.